tank is a high-tech way to transport you to an alternate reality. Sharks. My name is Jan Goodgeluk. I'm from Houston, Texas. Our company is Virtuix, and we are seeking $2 million in exchange for 10% of our company. This is the Omni, the first ever virtual reality platform that allows you to be truly a part of the video game. The Omni is a omnidirectional treadmill, but you removed all the moving parts. It's basically a low friction surface on which the user walks with these special shoes that have a low friction sole. Steve will also put on a support belt, which provides safety. You can't fall on the Omni. Also provides some support, so you can use the Omni hands-free, so you can hold a controller or a gun in your hands. The Omni can be played with any existing game that uses keyboard input. Once you're in the Omni, you can put on the virtual reality glasses. Oh, cool. Oh, this is right up your alley. The Omni enables you to walk, run, jump, and crouch in 360 degrees and put your mind and your body into the video game to transport you into a different world. Cool. Wow. Virtual reality has never broken through because the technology wasn't ready. That's all changing now. The technology is here, the Omni is here. So which of you sharks want to be on the forefront of this virtual reality revolution? Robert, you look excited. Would you like to try it out? I'd love to try it out. Absolutely. Whose glasses are you using? This is the Oculus Rift. OK, so you're using the Oculus Rift. Right. Oculus Rift, you can interface with the different types of video platforms. That's right. Whoa! Be careful, when you, be careful when you get in. You better give Robert a vomit bag. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to set up the Kinect. What's it like in there, Robert? It's very cool. So, Robert, the gun is just a trigger, so you aim with your look. Oh, and there's very a... cool. Oh, wow! Oh, look run, Dermal, run! Look, he's back in Croatia. <laughs> Kevin, come out and play! Kevin! <laughs> All right. Oh, what it's a very relief. cool. It feels God. very, very immersive. How much is it? We're selling those on our website right now for $499. That's it? Mm -hmm. That's cheaper than I would have thought. How many have you sold? So we launched this product on Kickstarter. What in did June, you raise? And we raised $1.1 million. Wow. How many units are you going to have to deliver? Uh, close to 3,000. Thank you very much, Jan. That was awesome. Great. It was very cool. Very, very cool. Where do you see how uncool you looked up there? Were you winded when you were on there? I was, but I don't know if I was winded because I didn't know how to use it. I think once you got used to it, you'd be fine. Do you think that uh, guys who play games like this want to exercise? Because usually they have a side job as a plus-size model, most yeah. guys who, uh, <laughs> well, who play games. Nobody likes being overweight. People would like to be fit, but gamers, they don't like to exercise. You know, we can play games and lose weight and burn calories at the Is same the time. People are excited about it. as this. a weight loss machine as well? Is that what you're thinking? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. But there's a bigger issue, right? This is pretty much based around Oculus Rift, right? As Oculus Rift goes, you guys go. Can you tell me what that is, Oculus Rift? That's the, the headset. The Rift is basically what started this virtual reality revolution. They've done a phenomenal job of allowing you to put on a headset and be in an immersive world. Is that included in the price? It's not included in the price. Oh, so it's what not. do you pay for that headset? No, really? $300. Is the gun included? The gun is off the shelf. You can buy it online. That sounds like it's going to be an eight to $900 cost, which is quite a bit. Why don't you tell us why you're worth $20 million today? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, no one's addressed yeah, that. I, want to I hear think that. it's the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. That's a ridiculous valuation for this. Let me walk you through the numbers. The Rift is an analog for our product. Same target market, same people. They're selling 200 of these per day right now. They project to do 500,000 units in sales next year. If we convert one out of 20 buyers of the Rift, well, we will be selling 25,000 units next year, which is $12.5 million in sales. There's a fundamental difference, though. When I buy the headgear, I can still sit around and lounge. You're forcing me to stand, and you're forcing me to be interactive. I don't think people want to be that interactive. I sold 3,000 no, units the numbers just without a product. We yet. can debate the merits of the product. I'm just trying to look at the sheer number. You want me to pay your value two years from now today. Here's my thinking on it. If my husband brought this into my house, I would divorce him immediately. <laughs> 
I think it's a problem because of its size in the home. I also think it's a tremendous problem to sell this in retail. I sell a lot of product now through retail. I couldn't get anybody to give the floor space to this. You'd pay so much just to demonstrate it. But I think that's a concern. You have to realize that 50% of the population is married, and they're going to have to deal with their wife on this one. So I'm out. You know, I see the market. You know, Black Ops did amazing. Grand Theft Auto, right? Breaking records. I, I see the market, but I also don't see somebody playing this more than an hour or half an hour a day before they can't even play it anymore because they're out of breath or they're tired. They just won't revisit it. So for all those reasons and more, I'm out. Look, great product. I will definitely buy one. But I think I'm an anomaly. You better talk to your wife. She's not a pushover. Well, we have a big house, Barbara. She'll never see it. But I don't think that people want to exercise and immerse themselves in the physical world to that degree. I think if people really want to immerse themselves that way, I think they'll go outside. I, I don't buy the premise. I'm out. I see where you're going with it, but it is a sub-segment of a sub-segment market, and it's very expensive. I look at it and say to myself, is this a good deal at $20 million where you are right now? And the answer is no, it's not. There's too much risk between your delivery of a consumer product a retail distribution strategy, and your sales, you've got tons of risk, all kinds of risk. And I gotta pay tomorrow's price today. I hate deals like that. I hate it when you make me pay for two years from now if everything works today. Why would I do that? I'm not an idiot. Why would I do that? Because of the potential. You are going to have problems. Poo poo's gonna happen, my friend. And I have to pay for that now? No. It's an outrage. You're ridiculous. I'm out. I get what you're doing. I could see you creating 20 million in sales, 25 million in sales with this, but you're competing just like headsets are going to be competing, just like the um, consoles are going to be competing. You're one more, one more outlet competing for consumer dollars. You have to push that ball so hard to keep going. You haven't told me that there's a way to get to 50 million in sales, and in six years, there's going to be completely new technology that blows all this away. For those reasons, I'm out. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You know, I, you know, I look at the experience and what can people learn from what happened here today? And for me, the lesson is very interesting IP, way overpriced. If you had put this at a $5 million valuation, it would have been very interesting. Good luck. Thank well, you, John. Anybody who pays $20 million for that is insane. Gamers are lazy, like most human beings. They don't want to exercise. No. They don't. First into the tank is a product to comfort and relieve stress. Hey Sharks, my name is Matt Munt. And I'm Angie Cupper. And we are Hug, Hug Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> We're a husband and wife team from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and today we are seeking $150,000 in exchange for 10% of our company. Sharks, like so many people out there, we've got a real problem in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Between his sleepwalking and my restless legs, there's a whole lot of action and not enough sleep. So that's why we invented Sleep Pod, a first-of-its-kind sleep solution designed to simulate the feeling of being hugged or cuddled. Sleep Pod uses a specialized four-way stretch material that wraps around your entire body. Oh, wow. As this fabric stretches, it wants to compress, providing a gentle, calming pressure, helping you to relax and fall asleep. Now I know what you're thinking, and you're right. It's essentially an adult <laughs> swaddle. <laughs> but Sleep Pod is so much more than that. It's made from a breathable material that doesn't trap heat. It's lightweight, so it's easy to travel with. And best of all, it's machine washable. And my favorite part is your significant other can't steal your covers. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Sharks, we spend a third of our lives sleeping, yet so many of us struggle to get a good night's rest. With Hug Sleep, we can bring some magic back into the bedroom <laughs> and get people sleeping like babies again. So Sharks, who wants to jump in bed with us? So I know 2020 has been a, a little bit of a stressful year to say the least, and it looks like all of you guys could really use a good hug right now. We would ask Robert, and we'd love to have you come up here and uh, test out Sleep Pod. To hug you? No, 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 oh, to try okay. the hug go, yeah. Sleep Pod. <laughs> oh. Unless you really want a hug. All right, go ahead and have a seat on the side of the bed. You're gonna put it on just like you would a pair of pants. So put both legs in. Both? Both legs, yep. And you're gonna stay seated for this, but go okay. ahead and scooch back and swing your legs over onto the bed. Go ahead and get comfortable. You, you may want to go pull back it up on the... to your chest. Yeah, yeah oh, you can scoot your butt back up. Just stand up, pull it, yeah. 
Now, Robert, start hopping. So it, it's pretty snug. <laughs> That's it. it. Is. Well, yes. We don't advise to do yes, that. Yes, because we don't want you to fall. <laughs> oh, it feels great. And now put, yeah. it, put your arms put in. Put my arms it, right? in. So you actually want to lay down before you do that, because I would hate to see you fall. I'm an advanced sleeper. <laughs> there you go. So now, yeah, you can lay down. Oh, wow, it's well, really <laughs> for <other> people. It's... <laughs> It's actually really soothing. Why is there a pocket? Yeah, so we're gonna tell you about that. That's the newest addition. A lot of people like to sleep with one foot out for temperature regulation. Mm -hmm. Oh. So that is a pocket so you can if you want, <laughs> but if you choose not to. <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> You okay, Robert? <laughs> that definitely no, normally yeah. doesn't happen. <laughs> See what we have to deal with? Oh my God, oh, I'm bleeding! Hey. Oh, Robert so is bleeding. So Robert, you okay? I hate you! <laughs> you're, you're doing oh, everything we advise against. <laughs> yes. So, okay, um, let's talk about acceptance in the market. Robert, are we gonna talk about that? Robert's sitting there bleeding. Are we gonna talk about oh, Eric, Eric, bleeding? Eric. Hey, yeah, Paul, get a lawyer. <laughs> Before I bled to death, yeah. it was very comfortable. Good, good. good. Yeah. Okay, so guys, sales. So it's been about 16 months or so since we started selling. Lifetime sales to date are about 490,000. So in the last 12 months or so, we've done 335,000 in top line sales. On that, we grossed about 215, and our net on that is about 140. Where were you selling? Yeah, so we sell direct to consumer through our website as well as Amazon. And what do you sell them for online, and what does it cost you to make landed? It typically sells for $99.99. And each sleep pod costs us on average about $22.50 to make. But as we continue to scale, we can get that down to about $18. So I just put it on. It's warm. It's very uh, silky soft mm -hmm. feeling. Very yeah. snuggly. Very stretchy. Absolutely. So I think it would be really helpful if we took a step back and kind of explained how this came to be. So a few years ago, I heard about weighted blankets like the rest of the world. I ended up buying one of these weighted blankets, and I tried it on, and I loved it. That initial pressure really brought on this sense of calm. But I went to sleep later that night, and very quickly, I ran to the all too common list of complaints associated with weighted blankets. One, they trap heat like crazy, and they just overheat. Next, they're very difficult to wash. You can't just take a, a 30 pound weighted blanket and throw it in your washing machine. The washing machine would probably explode, right? I'm a mechanical engineer who's been able to work at some pretty cool companies, so I'm no stranger to creating solutions to problems. Like, okay, maybe you don't use weight to create pressure, but you use compression. And this way, it wraps around your entire body and really, truly simulates the feeling of being hugged. And Angie, what's your background? So I'm a therapist. I have a master's degree in community psychology. I specialize in the treatment of anxiety disorders for kids and adolescents. So I knew more than a lot of people how important sleep is, not just for our physical health, but our mental health too. So when he told me this idea, I was already aware of deep touch pressure therapy, not only for things like autism, which is what it was originally designed for, but for anxiety disorders, for post-traumatic stress disorders. Deep touch pressure therapy is basically gentle but firm pressure applied to the body that triggers that relaxation in the body. Okay, the question is here, how much time and energy do you have to spend explaining the merits of the product to acquire the customer. So our cost of acquisition has been phenomenal. What is it? $11.50 blended. Wow. And that's over the last six months. Uh, and go. this is scalable. Primarily on Facebook? Uh, yeah, so we're running PPC campaigns on Facebook and Instagram. What did you do last month? What did you do last month? Uh, so last month was our, our highest revenue month ever. We did 50,000 last month. And were you profitable? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay, yeah, so we, how much did you make in profits? Uh, so our, our net profit is usually about 41% of our top line sales. So it was about 22,000. Good for you. That's awesome. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're killing it. And we did bootstrap this company with $2,500. Yeah. That's yeah, baby. It. That's all you put in. That is all wow. we put yeah. in. And we were now profitable within the first week or two of selling. I hope so everybody at home is hearing that. All right, what are you gonna use the 150,000 for? So demand has been crazy, um, and we really need inventory. I get it, so um, I like it. I wanna offer you 150,000 for 20%. Well, thank you for that yes, offer. Thank you. Would you like to say yes? So I don't wanna drop valuation that much. You what, can counter. What, what's your counter, Matt? I'm intrigued also because of one Kevin, thing. Kevin, why don't you let him well, answer? He was about to say something. It may well, make maybe, it better for you. Maybe my offer will just make Damon's evaporate. That's why you don't maybe have to worry about that. Maybe we could just make you evaporate. <laughs> no, I just look at it and say that you know your customer acquisition cost. Mm -hmm. I would just like to pour more money onto that very model. 
The value I would add here is to drive that acquisition cost down. I'll do the deal at uh, 15%. Thank well, you. Thank you. Thank you for the offer. Are you going to accept it? Wait a minute. I'm going to give you an offer. Whoa. My offer would be 150000 also for the 15%. Thank you. Thank you. Well, and I guess there's something I want to make sure I put out there. There are a lot of people suffering from anxiety, sleeplessness. We're not getting a lot of hugs. Um, and so this really is something that hugs you back, even if you are alone. Um, I personally really benefit from the sleep pod. <laughs> because one of my, my best memories from childhood was being tucked in um, by my mom every night. <sighs> the reason I went into psychology is I lost my mom to suicide when I was 17. And through all of that pain, I found a passion for helping other people and can help so many people. I love helping kids. I, I'm dedicated to helping kids, but there are adults out there who need help too. And this product can fit so many people and so many needs. And so I, I wanna make sure that we make a deal with somebody who's just as passionate about this as we are. You know, I love it, guys. And I've got people in my household and my family that have sensory issues. So that's why it's very close to me. And so I'll make you an offer. I'll give you a choice. I'm gonna give you two offers. One will be just what you asked for, 150,000 for 10%. And the one I prefer is $300,000 for 20%. So that way we're closer partners. That I think we could really I'll run I'll give with you this. the same offer and the same choices. Wait a minute, I'll match the same offer. All sharks are still in, and a bidding war is underway for Angie and Matt's therapeutic swaddle for adults, Hug Sleep. So guys, you're gonna get five offers. I don't know how often that happens. Um, Not off, no. And look, there's only one person up here who actually bled for you guys. <laughs> I appreciate that. Right? Here's my offer. 300,000 for 20%. That's my offer. Guys, this is extraordinary on Shark Tank. What do you guys want to do? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, well, I think we certainly understand the value that all you sharks bring. And, you know, if, if any of you guys would be willing to kind of come together, I think that's just Lori. gonna continue to explode this company. All right, Lori and I will do it together. Um, the 300 for 20. Well, I think if you guys are teaming up and kicking us to the curb, Kevin, Damon, will you come in? Because I think three sharks is better than two. Oh, that's interesting. I think so. All right, oh, I'll, come in with, I'll come in with Kevin and yeah, Robert. Yeah, yeah, three okay sharks for Three two. sharks, 300,000 for 20%. Yeah. That's a tough one. Oh, my God. Three's better than two. This is a good problem to have. Very good problem to have. What do you want to do? I know we came in initially targeting Mark and Lori. If you guys want to do a deal at 20% for 300, you got yourself a deal. Done. Thank you. And I can't. Thank you. Move. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm suing you for making me bleed. I'm not gonna sleep at night now. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats, Thank guys. You. Congrats. <laughs> that was pretty incredible. <laughs> 2020's been a scary time, and I, I think sleep pods gonna help a lot of people. Yeah, the little bit that we can do to just help people to feel safe and secure mm -hmm. and less anxious, and I'm, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you, that was incredible. Oh, man. Next in the tank is a company that brings a cool addition to your wellness routine. Hey Sharks, I'm Michael Garrett. And I'm Ryan Dewey, and we're from Sacramento, California. Our company is Plunge, and we're seeking $1.2 million for a 5% stake in our company. <laughs> sharks, what if I told you you could lower inflammation 
increase fat loss, strengthen your immune system, sleep better, reduce muscle soreness, have more energy in just one minute. Well, this isn't fiction, this is reality. And this is not a bathtub, this is a cold plunge. Studies show that cold plunging increases norepinephrine levels two to three times their normal amount. I don't know what that is either, <laughs> but apparently <laughs> that's what leads to all those incredible benefits. Sharks all over the world, cold exposure is exploding. But buying 40 pounds of ice is a huge hassle. Our revolutionary cold plunge uses powerful cooling and filtration to give you cold, crystal clear water whenever you want, all in a beautiful, sleek tub. To set your temperature anywhere from 60 all the way down to 39. Wow. So sharks, wow. who's ready to take the plunge? Wow. wow. How about you, Robert? <laughs> You look like you can use the plunge. I'll try it. Let's I'll go. try it. Let's go. Cool. Let's do it, baby. Amazing. What's the temperature set 55 at? 55 right now. 55. Well, that's yep. not bad. It's pretty cold. 55. No, cold. I've done cold plunges yeah. like many times because yeah. we have one at the Mavericks, obviously. Why can't I fill up my tub with cold enough water? Cold out of the tap isn't going to be, you know, 55. Maybe some times of the year if you're in a cold environment. Most you can throw ice that. in it, though. Can that's you throw what most ice? people do right you now. Do throw They're ice. buying ice, and then it's yeah. like they have to drain it right after where our unit, it's always filtering, it's always set, it's always clean. It's about, if, oh, oh, Lord. under like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All, right. All right. The key here is gonna be anchoring to your breath. Your body is gonna wanna be really excited and you're gonna wanna get out, but you wanna override that with slow, Just long relax, breaths. Robert. How long is he supposed to hold back the urge to jump out? Two minutes. Here he goes. Two minutes is ideal. Oh! <laughs> you can't do that, Robert, you just gotta get in. Don't be a yes. wimp. So do I just... Yep, yeah. just lay back, get down. comfortable. Robert, 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 Beautiful. Be one with the cold. He's gonna feel incredible after. Really cold. Are you feeling like numb, like you're getting used to it, like it's not as bad it's as when you first shocking, got in? But surprisingly, the breathing really helps, and now it doesn't feel as bad. I wouldn't say it's comfortable, but it's not bad. I'm here. <sighs> Grab my towel right there. Oh my God. Oh. Wow. Mark, why do they do it? Why do the athletes do it? It helps with inflammation. I'll just put my leg in and Actually, that's it. It's it's incredible. Like you feel your blood flowing. Like exactly. seriously. Yeah. Like I feel. No, it wakes you up. If you go like all I'm in, it wakes you up. Ready to go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. So Michael and Ryan, the big ice cube in the room is the 1.2 million for five percent. It shoots a 24 million dollar valuation. You better be selling a lot of them. We just launched a year ago. We were building them out of his garage. Literally 12 months ago, we sold our first unit. To date, we've done $4.9 million in sales. Wow. wow. Good year for to, you. Over wow. the 12 months, 4.9. Year to date, 4.5. And we're on pace this month through 1.1 so million. So walk us through the economics. Wow. What's it cost to make wow. one? Thank you. Thank you. Thank What's you. What's it cost to make one? And how much do you sell it for? And how do you sell it? So we sell them all on our website. And so this plunge is $4,800. Uh, so it's wow. very affordable. Our landed cost is $2,400 and that does include shipping. Do you have an installation service? That's the amazing part of it. It shows up, they put it wherever you want it. From there, you have about 15 minutes of setup, and that 15 minutes is mostly filling up with a host. The question is, how big is your market, right? Totally. Because what happens when somebody comes up with a good product, yep. you get all the pent-up demand as people hear about it and 100%. they dive in, right? So you get this initial surge, but at a $24.5 million valuation and only having 5%, you have to make $24 million in distributable cash profits in order for us to get our money back, right? I have to think in terms, not only can I get my money back, but how much more money can I make on it? And for you to come on here with that valuation, I can't blame you. I can, I'll do the blaming. Okay, so I like the deal because of the revenue, but I also see lots of competitors that could knock you off. I'll make you an offer. I'll give you the 1.2 million for 18% equity, but I have to get my money back somehow. So I get 18% of the distributions, you get the rest. Every time you take out a dollar, I get 18 cents. Well, let me tell you what I think. I agree with Mark. I think about like how many years it's gonna take me to get my money back. I wish you the best of luck. 
but I'm out. So guys, is more money better? Like is the 1.2 million when you've calculated what you really need or is it like if you got more money, would it make life better, would make things go faster? So, so 1.2 million gets us, it's, it's enough for 400 units that we can build. What we want to do with the money is to really ramp up production. Okay, I'm gonna give you an offer. I'll give you the 1.2 for 20%, and it's gonna be in the form of half a loan or line of credit, whatever you prefer, because I think that's your real need. You just have cash flow problems. And then the other 50% up front. Got it, thank you. I asked you a question about cash because I wanted to see what you were doing with it. If you have more cash, do things go faster? And it sounds like they do. Uh, I'll give you 2.4 million. 1.2 million for straight equity. I want 15% for that. And I'll give you the other 1.2 million as a straight up loan, same rate you will get from the bank, because I do think more money will make things go faster. So that's my offer. Guys, I'll simplify all that, okay? I'll offer you the 1.2 um, million, 15%, right? I'll finance your purchase orders, and it's just gotta be first dollar back to me on the sale. And so if you finance 100 units or 200, when you sell those, I get paid back first, right? So it's just first dollar back. Got it. So you guys, you now have four offers on the what table. What a lucky day for you guys. What Ooh. are you gonna do? Robert, would you, would you drop to 10%? I dropped to 12%. Mark, 10%. Robert, we got a deal. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. ago we were in my garage building cold plunges and now here we are Rob we have a deal with Robert 2.4 million dollars it's incredible